wanted me to put our Sweetly Susie card kit all together. If you haven't grabbed your kit yet, head over and grab one. I'll put a pop-up at the top of the screen if you'd like to grab that. I really appreciate you shopping with me. Um, so in your card kit, you get um, three cards, the stamp, um, instructions, and a picture to put your card together. But I'm going to show you how to do all of that. So let's move all of this over here. If you missed the video on coloring the girl, um, I'll put a link at the top of the screen so you can go watch that if you want to watch that too. So first off, we're going to attach our girl. So let's do that. And I'm going to use my handy dandy combo multi um, permanent adhesive. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Spica Clear Glitter Pin to add some sparkles to her hair. Because I didn't do that when I colored her. Shame on me. Can't do without our sparkles. And we better do over here. I think I'll do a little bit on this little bow too. Never have enough sparkling. And maybe let's add a little bit to this flower. I didn't to my original card, but it's looking like it needs some. Okay. We'll set her over here on the side for a second. And then we're going to add all this stuff we have. So first let's start with this paper that has the wood on it. And you can also use the other side if you prefer that. And I have it kind of set at an angle. And I want my wood grain to go up and down. That's a totally up to you. And make sure your card is opening the way that you want it before you start attaching things. I'm constantly putting it on the wrong way. This. And next comes the yellow dotty piece. On the back is some flowers if you prefer that. I love it when the paper is double-sided and has something cute on the back. That's always nice because you can change the whole look of your card by just flipping things over and um, maybe even trimming your paper, your paper, maybe trimming this one in half and doing um, a little bit of one of each color. Next, we're gonna do the little blue flower piece and on the back is some stripes. I'm not sure, this is just like a piece of the corner so each piece may not have that on it. And this piece I'm kind of set here on top of this yellow one. Oh. Next, got all this great stuff over here. How about this little circle next? So for that, I'm gonna use my liquid glue just so it will stick down better. A little bit and you don't have a you don't need like a ton so that it blobs out of the side I just kind of swirl it around in the middle and I'm going to put that here. second add this other piece that I cut out from the same one this is the circle was the center of this and it's actually two dies it's La La Land Crafts double stitch circle and then the other one is the scalloped circle. This. Yeah. Then we can add our girl. For that I'm going to use some of these pop dots. So let's do that. And I'm going to use some smaller ones on the edges here. And these are 1 16th pop dots. Let's 
So back off. Make sure she's straight, not tipped sideways. And then let's do the sentiment next. And the sentiment is from the Hero Arts Mini Messages, Mini Everyday Messages stamp set. Um, you do not get the stamp set in your card kit. I stamped this one little sentiment on there for you. We're gonna also add some pop dots to this. And I don't want to put one behind where it's over here. So right here. I'm gonna hang over onto this. That, I'm just gonna put a little tape runner on the end there. Just stick it to the front of the girl. And then I had it so it's even. It's under the cat, but it's even with the edge of my card over here on the side. And if you hated this sentiment, you can always um, flip it over and trace it onto some white cardstock and then cut out a new one. That was, that's a quick, easy way to do it. Next, we have all of these great flowers. So let's do, let's see, let's start with a medium one here. How about this medium yellow one? So I'm gonna put that. I have a bullet glue on the middle there. Like that, so it's kind of on my sentiment and a little bit over here on my card, but I don't want it to mess up the words, so let me make sure to turn it. And then I'm going to do a medium, no, not the medium. I'm gonna do the small red flower. Let's do that here in the middle, but make it go just a little bit sideways. You can kind of see to the back there for the yellow piece. Next we're going to do a big red flower. That. There. And then we're going to do the medium craft or peanut cluster flower. I'm not going to have that one be in the middle of that. I'm going to move it down a little bit. And then we're going to do the yellow flower. I'm going to put that in the middle of the peanut cluster one, but kind of offset it a little bit so it can see through to the back of the petals. And then I'm going to add the yellow flower over on this side. And the red one. And I again didn't put it right in the center of that one. I kind of moved it off to the side here. And then we'll finish that one off with our peanut cluster. Flower. Again, I turned it, I put it in the middle, but I kind of turned it so you could see the petals in the back of, on the red one. And you could do some Crystal Nouveau um, drops or some pearls on top of these flowers. That would look really cute. I didn't put any on this time, but that would be very, very pretty. So there is our adorable Sweetly Susie card all colored up. If you missed the card kit, head over and grab one. I'll put a pop-up at the top of the screen. And if you missed the coloring, make sure and watch that because we had a lot of fun doing that. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video. I would love that. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring with me or had fun putting your card together today, and we'll see you next time. Bye. So there is our adorable Sweetly Susie all finished up. Didn't she turn out cute? I love her. I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. Or I'll put a, um, a pop-up there at the top of the screen. If you'd like to head over and grab the kit, it'll take you straight there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video. I would love that. If you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment, and I will get back to you. 
Otherwise, I hope you had fun putting your card together today, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.